Oh, hi everybody, and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai Channel. We've just caught me in the middle of looking at this sycamore bonsai tree. And you know, one thing that has always bothered me with this were these deadwood features. Now the thing is, I've just allowed these to do their natural thing just right over time, but through my eyes, they just look ugly. And I do think that if we get the Dremel back, do some carving work, we can greatly improve the look of these and just turn this into a very impressive looking sycamore bonsai tree. So it's always important that before you start any kind of carving work like this, you do always take certain safety procedures. And for that, I would always recommend that you wear a pair of safety gloves and you also wear some safety glasses. So for this job, I'm just gonna wear these. And with that, we're now ready to begin our work carving the tree. So with a drill bit, where well, this is kind of a drill carving bit just in the Dremel here, let's begin. So you can see it's starting to look a little bit more natural. It looks as though, you know, this has undergone the elements for many, 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 many years. It's all rotted away in here. And it's beginning to tuck under these branches, which I really like. I like it that the tree has carried on living. It's tried to survive. It's, you know, these will gradually thicken up over time and start to roll around. And again, right down here, these will, this will start to do the same thing all the way down here. So over time, so really start to come together and look like an ancient old maple that you might see in the woods. And of course, with all of these branches coming out the top, as this canopy develops and grows over the upcoming years, I think this is really going to become quite a fantastic tree. So I think this section is looking really good now. So what I might do is switch my attention to this, this uh, trunk here we try to dig out some of these holes just to give it a whole lot more character than what it currently does. And yeah, this is going to look like a fantastic looking bonsai, I think. You know, one problem that I can see is what with, if you just spin that round like this, you can see with this shallow in the top, what's going to happen is that it's going to fill with water. So what I might do, as soon as though we have this hole on the side, I'm going to put a drill bit into my Dremel and go straight up there and try to marry this hole up with that one. And that will mean that water won't uh, build up in this shallow here. Instead, it will drain out this hole and run down here. So with the drill bit in the Dremel, And we're through. So you know that I think is looking pretty damn good. Uh, this has been bothering me for a long time. These uh, cut points and just the deadwood just didn't look that good and as I was saying at the start of this video, this was a tree that I did admire. It has a funny past because it was grown in our back garden and it was grown in an area that we couldn't dig it out you know, properly. And so after many, many years of just cutting it down, it just kept you know, growing again, sprouting again. We were cutting it down and then eventually the, the time came where we could, we are altering that part of the garden and we dug this out, roots and all, and since then I've been growing it as a bonsai tree. And I just think with today's work, this looks absolutely fantastic. Well, there is one thing that I was worried about with this tree, and that is it is growing in quite a shallow pot. Now, obviously, with all of the work we've done today, it's going to put a lot of stress on the tree. I do want it to carry on growing. I do want it to heal from the wounds that we've created today. So 
I think what I do, uh, we have a few old bowls here in the garden, so I might put some holes in the bottom of one of them, fill it with some good quality soil, and pop this on into a much bigger pot. So what I'm going to use for the potting mix is just going to be pea beech. I think this is three mil pea beech that build, you can usually pick up in builders yards or like builders merchants. And I find this is perfect for bigger trees, bigger bonsai trees. I might be changing my, uh, my uh, bonsai medium potting mix in the future. I have ordered a few things. So there are going to be a few more upcoming changes in the future because I'm going to play with different ratios and different mediums and that. But for now, I think we're just going to stick with this. So yeah, we're just going to use the pea beach and then I'm just going to mix that with regular compost. Right, so as I have drilled some quite big holes in the bottom of this pot, it will need a little bit of screen just to go in. This is just very fine nylon mesh. It will be absolutely perfect. Just put that in the base. And then it's just simply a case of putting the soil mix that we've just mixed up into this and then planting the sycamore on top. Right, so let's just ease this tree out of the pot. Should be quite firm. Yeah, there you go. That's it. It's come out nicely, really nicely. So you can see just on the underside here, we have a little drainage screen just in there. Let's just remove that one. And I think that is the only one. So you can see plenty of healthy roots. It's not root bound by any means, but you know, maples do like to put out a lot of root and they do grow very fast. So my thinking was, if I put that into this pot, it should grow a lot quicker and recover from these wounds that we've made in here. And I would like these to heal over slightly and callus around, and then that would just help with the overall effect of a you know really ancient tree. But we just carry on packing soil in around the outside. There we go. Let's make sure it's nice and firm. And this is just to enable it to recover and grow. You know, this certainly isn't going to go into a, a bonsai exhibition or a show anytime soon. It's just to recover from the carving wounds that we've put into this today. And I would like this to grow a little bit quicker because being in that shallow tray, it didn't grow that quickly. And not that I'm after a fast growing bonsai tree, but, you know, I did want it to grow a little bit quicker than what it did last year. So we just pack that in, make sure it's nice and firm. And I think that is that tree potted up. Well, thanks for joining me on this one. It sure is an interesting project, carving in all of this dead wood, really emphasizing some of these features of, I really do think it's a fantastic looking tree. I really do like the look of it now. I think it's brilliant. And, it will, and the thing is, it will only get better at, you know, in the future as it grows and develops and this canopy improves and the, this uh, begins to heal around these wounds. Oh, it'll just, it'll look fantastic. I'm sure it will. I know this setup is a bit crude and there'll be plenty of people that will criticize this mix. And uh, you know, all I can say to that is, it's just to allow the sycamore to stretch out its feet a bit more, get a bit more space and really speed up the growth because in that tray, it just wasn't growing that fast and it was restricting the roots. And if maples need anything, they need room. Once they're matured and they look good and everything else, you can slow down the growth and put them in a tray. But seeing as though this is in the developing stages of its life and hopefully it will only get better with age, we need to give it space to grow and we need to give it the room to grow in, in a reasonable size pot. And I just think I rushed it and I put it in a tray too soon. But anyway, I guess with that, time will only tell. Well, thanks again for joining me on this one. And as always, take it easy, have a great day, and I will catch you on the next one.